You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a recap from... I don't know what we're doing a recap from. It doesn't say anything here. <laughs> Smackdown Live from October 17th. Uh, I guess I should have wrote that in the notes, huh? Yeah. So not only did you not label what the file was called, mm-hmm. you also didn't put anywhere on the file or not not the file on the actual page what it is you're talking about i know what i'm talking about oh you just lucked out that i figured out which one it was when we opened it it was the last one that was edited well what if something happened and it all got scrambled the only thing that would have happened is impact wrestling and that's thursday night yeah so anyway yeah let's uh let's get to it get to it to it so uh, Daniel Bryan comes out to open the show. Which is not a surprise because they were in Seattle, his yes. hometown. Mm-hmm. And he announces a six-woman tag match for later on tonight with mm-hmm. Natalia, Tamina, and Lana versus Naomi, Becky, and Charlotte. Why not Carmel? I don't know. Because we've seen that match already. I guess that's so would true. they switch Carmella and Lana? Lana? Yeah. Yeah. That's odd. It's yeah. been a while since they mm-hmm. had Lana wrestle. Yeah, that's true. So and I was that, kind of expecting it to mm-hmm. be Carmella. But I guess it kind of makes sense because Tamina is in the match. Makes sense. So, And then we were going to get an announcement from Jinder. Apparently he's going to have some sort of challenge for Survivor Series. Yeah, well, they had made or they had said that like in the promos for SmackDown on yeah. Raw the night before. Right. So because like, there was the rumors of him making a challenge mm-hmm. um, that we'll get to shortly. Um, and then there was obviously that commercial mm-hmm. stating that something was going to happen. Right. So we kind of put pieced together what was going on. Yes. And um, uh, that we were going to get the rematch of Bobby Roode, or Booby Roode as they like to put it, versus uh, Dolph Ziggler. Yep. So, so apparently yeah. those things lead to an exciting SmackDown. Hey, if that's what you're building your show on, then, well, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't like that he didn't name the actual exciting thing. It's true. Because the, the actual exciting thing hadn't been uh, set yet. Yeah. So. yeah. But uh, So anyway, so Daniel Bryan gets to business, and he uh, talks about Sami Zayn. He's disappointed yes. in him. You know, just the way he's acting and his actions at Hell in a Cell. Uh-huh. And then out comes Sami. Surprise, he was, surprise. He was in a very good mood. Mm-hmm. He was dancing like he's never danced yep. before. Yep. It was actually kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Uh, Heel Sammy coming down, dancing to his uh, it's because music. It's it, perfect. He, he goes from happy-go-lucky Sami mm-hmm. Zayn to even happier-go-lucky Sami mm-hmm. Zayn, but now he's supposed to be and he, a carefree bad he, guy. Yeah, he sheds some light. He's a, yeah. he's a uh, heel with good... Uh, um, Good points, I guess. Well, yeah, that's, they all yeah. are. Not not all of them. Most of them. No. Rusev is. <laughs> you leave Rusev alone. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, basically, Sammy comes out, and he says that he's basically the same guy as he was. He just took ownership of his career yes. instead of leaving it in the hands of everybody else to screw up. Like Daniel Bryan did. There you go. Yes. Yep. And, uh, yeah, he made a lot of comments toward uh, Daniel Bryan not being able to be in the ring. He's like, you know, two guys in, in good ring shape like well, like us. Well, just me, not you. Yeah. Well, because he had said something about how he used to look up to... Yeah, well, that was... That was oh, that was yeah, next? Yeah. No, okay. yeah, that was next, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but he would, he would look up to Daniel Bryan, and every time that he felt like he caught up, he found out that he was two steps ahead. Mm-hmm. And he used to be, he wanted to be just like him, but now he no longer thinks mm-hmm. that that's a great idea. Yeah. And now, then, uh, yeah, that's when Kevin Owens comes out. Yep. With a big smile oh, on his yeah, face. Big shit eating grin. And, you know, he's like, uh, I'm happy Sammy has seen the light. And then he uh, calls Daniel Bryan a hypocrite. Yep. And uh, this is where he really hit the nail on the head. Uh-huh. Because now Daniel Bryan is an authority figure. Yep. And throughout his whole career, he was fighting the authority figures. Well, he's. For yeah, a good well, portion of it. Well, they were always keeping him down. That's true. Why he's keeping him down. <laughs> um, but yeah. This uh, put a very so, sad look on Daniel Bryan's face. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it is kind of funny how they are able to like turn the nail mm-hmm. on its head with... Um, I think that's the I don't think that's the expression. Uh, yeah. 
Anyway, um, <laughs> turn it around so that the authority is now the good guys and mm-hmm. the bad guys are fighting the authority. But it just feels like it's the same way where the fans are kind of behind the right. authority. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a definitely a good yeah. spin on it. Yeah, so it, it's it's a more interesting take on the authority mm. angle that because it's so bad. And it stale. is technically the same thing. True. It's just different components mm-hmm. that make it different and interesting. So, but Kevin Owens doing anything? It's a thumbs up in my book because he is the best. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, even. Speaking of thumbs down, did uh, did you check the Yankee game score? I did not. Uh, Yeah, I know we're in the middle of this, but why not? (laughs) So, uh, anyway, so Daniel Bryan goes to leave and he uh, goes up up the ramp and he uh, looks back at Kevin and Sammy and said he's going to find a few guys to punch you guys in the face. (laughs) Yeah. Honestly, it kind of looked like he was going to cry. Four nothing Yanks. Whoa. And the fifth. Yep. Um, so yeah, that was the opening segment. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, it was. It wasn't bad. Like, like uh, Kevin s- Owens and Sami Zayn are yeah. very good, doing very good work mm-hmm. in terms of their characters right now. Like Jericho and hmm? Owens together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Owens found a new best friend. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he's calling him his best friend. Yes, now. it's very funny. Yeah. My best friend, Sami Zayn. <laughs> he gets very attached to people. I think that's what we've learned about Kevin Owens. Mm-hmm. When he's not he's not a great um, acquaintance, but no. he's a very good friend. Mm-hmm. There's a difference. Yes. So if Granted. he likes you, he really likes you. Otherwise, he don't like you at all. Granted, you can never be trusted fully. Absolutely not. Yeah. No. He'll, th- he'll, he'll throw you head first into a... Uh, into a TV. <laughs> yeah, the Jeratron 4500 or whatever. Whatever it was, 6500. Yeah, whatever he was on. Yeah. So uh, for the first match of the night, we have the woman's six-woman tag. Or yes. Yeah, six-person tag, however yeah. they... Phrase it. Present it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So Natalia, Tamina, and Lana versus Naomi, Becky, and Charlotte. The yes. face-heavy uh, match. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It's so it, hard with the again, heels on SmackDown. As we've been going on forever, yes, all the talent is on the face side, mm-hmm. and the uh, lack of talent is on the heel side. Yeah, I'd take anything away, but yeah, it's true. It, you it, have one veteran on the. Uh, well, I mean, technically, Tamina's. Well, Tamina's also a veteran, yeah. and but she's the same age as Mickey James, or like a year younger than her. She's been around for a long yeah. time. So is Natalia. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I know. But, so, but Tamina's just you know, they're presenting her as someone who's new. Um, kind of. I think it's more of she's just not as experienced. Not given the spotlight? Yeah, because she's always been around, but she's never really done anything. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, this was a standard match. Nothing nothing too fancy here. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte makes Lana tap out to the figure eight. Yeah. Not a surprise here. It's true. Uh, Carmella was on commentary, right? Yes. With Ellsworth? Yes, that's right, yes. Yeah. I think Byron was asking what the deal oh, yeah, was with... Uh, that's right. We forgot to say that Michael Cole was filling in for Tom Phillips because oh. he was on assignment, right? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> he's probably looking uh, at leaving the company as well. Um, or he sent not. other people inappropriate pictures or DMs. That would be more likely. He's had sensitivity training with Enzo yeah. Amore. Eh? Um, it could... You know what's funny? But Re- You remember who else was in that sensitivity training? Uh, when Enzo went. Tavari? Was it? No. No, it was gender. It was gender. <laughs> it was gender. <laughs> he had anger problems. I guess he settled it out before they gave him the title. <laughs> my steroids keep my anger down. <laughs> so, That's uh, not funny. So, yeah. Because um, it was it was Rusev, uh, Enzo, and uh, gender. Yeah. That's they were right. in anger, man- manage- anger management. Yeah. Um, a- anyway. <laughs> so um carmelo was on commentary mm-hmm. uh byron was asking her what the deal was with uh Ellsworth on a leash yeah. yeah and uh so yeah nothing really came of it they were he they were bugging her about when she was gonna cash in the briefcase mm-hmm. and she's like i don't need to tell you it's and true that's about it that was it um and then after the match natalia and charlotte fought not a surprise yeah natalia went to grab a chair Go after Charlotte. Charlotte got a hold of it, and Natalia ran away. Yes, which isn't a surprise. Mm-hmm. Cowardly heel. Yep. Um, so uh, up next, we got a backstage segment. Dan O'Brien is uh, encountered by Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Yep. Um, Dan O'Brien tells them 
tells them that everyone wants to punch them in the face. Yes, everyone he's talked to wants to punch them in the face. Which is not a particularly big surprise. No. Um, and uh, the main event tonight is going to be Owens and Sami Zayn versus Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah. I didn't put gender this week. I don't... <laughs> I don't like this. Randy Orton and Shinsuke, just like the go-to team now. All right, the guys that have what gender, you stay over here. All right, you're going to be in a tag match together. Yeah. It, it's it's more like they've kind of separated it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, we have an array of superstars. Split in half, faces, heels. And then there's a subset of the faces People who have faced gender <laughs> go over here. People who haven't go over here. So once you're in this section with the have faced gender, mm-hmm. now you are very restricted on what you can do because yeah. you can't go anywhere near him anymore. So basically, if there's a tag team that isn't involved mm-hmm. with him, you get that. Yeah, because Orton and Shinsuke fought R- Rusev and Mahal, yes, right? that's what I mean. <laughs> Like, uh, like, what is the point of making these two team together for no reason? I, I mean, if you, unless you were going to have Randy turn heel. I mean, obviously now wouldn't be the point. No, but. because it's they have way too many heels yeah, on SmackDown. But I'm like, what is what is the purpose of yeah. doing this? It's true. Besides, there's no one else to do it. But wow, that's part of the problem. Who are you going to put in that match, Ty Dillinger? Or the Bludgeon Brothers. Have them be the faces. They're just going to do promos, and that's it. Probably. Until they get released. Um, you you might be on to something, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. Yeah, apparently we got another promo from them throughout the night, which I... No, it was just the one. Uh, no, I, no, we got one promo. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. Cause you we said got throughout one... the night, so... No, I meant somewhere throughout oh, the okay. night, because like I told you earlier, yeah, you I, I knew there it. was a promo, but I don't know if I blacked out or... <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited, I just completely <laughs> lost... All control of my memory. All right, it's in the bathroom, or, you know. All right, so uh, up next, we got Pulp Fashion, which we were supposed to get last week. Yeah. They, since we had Tyler Breeze and Fandango in a um, match, we can't have them twice in yeah, one night. Even though these are pre... Um, I think they're taped the day of. Oh, I'm sure they are, yeah. but I'm just saying they're pre-recorded. <laughs> oh, so. obviously. Um, Apparently, so, Vince McMahon really wants to be a part of one. Of course he does. <laughs> So, I um, want somebody to headbutt. Me. This one had, like, because they like to have like, like credits beforehand. Mm. It says who it's including, and it had <laughs> it said Tyler not Breeze. including, and it was like the and entire it, uh, cast of Pulp Fiction. Yeah, it was. So it, it is funny when they do stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. So, uh, so how's this baby start? Uh. So, uh, from what I remember, uh, I think. <laughs> Uh, Fandango walks in, and the Ascension are seated at a table with a uh, cheeseburger and fries sitting on the on a plate. Uh-huh. And uh, Breeze, I don't know how he, it happened, but he started eating the uh, cheeseburger and then falls to the ground. And uh, Fandango goes, oh, no, he's allergic to pickles or something like that. <laughs> and uh, the Ascension say, tell... Uh, they know how to revive him, and they tell uh, Fandango how to do it, and they draw like a spot exactly on oh, Breeze's he's... chest where he's got to poke the uh, the air passage, and uh, so Fandango goes to do it, and oh no, he, they say uh, we'll show you how to do it as long as you'll be our friends. Yeah, I don't know if he said best friends, but whatever. I'm sure they want to be probably. Best friends. And uh, so Fandango agrees, and then uh, as Fandango goes to revive Breeze, uh, Breeze comes too. And uh, Breeze is like, I, I'm not allergic to pickles. It's the bread. And then uh, I think it was Victor. Victor's the bigger one, right? Or is Con- no, uh, Victor is the, the, the little one. All right, so it was Connor's Connor that was like, one. that bread's gluten free <laughs> or something like that. And he says, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, they say it's gluten free, and that's when Breeze says, I love gluten. <laughs> <laughs> and then they realize that the briefcase had been stolen off the desk, and uh, they the Ascension goes, on to the next case, and put their fists in, and uh, Breezango kind of look at them and just leave the room. Uh, so yeah, it, it was something. I, I'll tell you what, the Ascension are really, they're, they're stepping up. They're very uh, entertaining. It's just where do they go from here? Yeah, well, because it started with the, um, what's it called, the 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 weird youtube thing that they did the oh, oh uh, the southpaw wrestling, Southpaw yeah, wrestling yeah. weird it was fantastic I, I couldn't remember what it was called yes though. 
um, where they did the surfers, the, right? Yeah, and then they were what pilots and stuff. Yeah, like they were. They were um, because it was like the movie. Was it? Were they called the Top Guns? Top Guns. That's what it was. Yes. <laughs> and it, and then at the end of the second season, it said due to copyright law, they were no longer able to be called that, so they were re- repackaged as the surfing guys. Yeah. Oh man, so, good stuff. It was pretty funny. All right, and that brought us to Baron Corbin versus Sin Cara. The new Kalisto. Yep, that's for damn sure. <laughs> so I like the before the match started when Corbin was like, they asked the crowd if it wants to be a U.S. Uh, open title match, and of course the crowd goes crazy, and Corbin goes, too bad. I only care about my own opportunities because I'm Baron Corbin. Um, yeah, yeah. Th- this, is a, this is something. He goes to fighting AJ Styles to Sin Cara. Yep. Oh, man. So, yeah, I mean, I think almost right away, right, the action spilled, or you didn't it, even see this match. I, I saw it. I wasn't paying attention during it, though. Uh, I know it was very quick. Yeah. And that Baron Corbin lost via countout yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah, I think the action spilled to the outside, and Sin Cara went up to the top rope and either hit Corbin with a splash or... Who knows what? Uh-huh. Put Corbin on the ground, and Sin Cara ran back in the ring before a ten count. Yeah, and that was it. It was weird. Um, why is a, is a word that comes to mind? That's something. Um, but whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, let's move on. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got Renee Young interviewing the Usos. Yes, asking how they feel about facing Chad Gable and um, Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin for the titles. Yep. Then the um, Usos talk about the uh, how they got the tag team division on lock and yeah. the Uso Penitentiary. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Gable and Benjamin come up. And they're gonna start rapping, right? Or something. Yes. Like that. <laughs> I said it before when they first split up American Alpha. Mm-hmm. Chad Gable is the one that's going to succeed, and I am 100% right. I don't think anybody was arguing with you. Okay, so? He's not a nerd. Yeah, it's just, he, he seems so confident in the no, interview. Probably is a nerd, but. Probably, but there's nothing <laughs> wrong with that. He seemed confident in the intervie- interview. He's good in the ring, and having him team with Shelton Benjamin, once he becomes an actual singles wrestler, mm-hmm. he'll be great. Yep. So and we saw that in his matches against Rusev and uh, AJ. It's true. So didn't really need to. Uh, All right, fine. Anything. Ruin it. Ruin it. Ruin what? I was just trying to be supportive of my boy Chad Gable. It doesn't mean he's gonna. They're gonna do anything with oh, him. Oh, I know. It's gonna end up on two hundred five live, probably. Yeah, I don't think that's. I think Maybe. he's too big for that. He might be. Anyway, yeah. Um, so they're going on about how they're gonna, they're gonna be the new tag team champions, and uh, at the end of it, they just say that they wanna, they give a, a handshake to uh, the Usos with respect, yes. and then the Usos are like, oh, all right, <laughs> and then they go to they go to handshake them, and then they go whoop, nuts, and then they walk away laughing. Mm-hmm. The Usos were not very pleased. No. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, it's something. I guess we'll get that at Survivor Series, I would assume, right? Um, Or a pre-show I, Survivor Series? No, there's probably going to be a tag team title match on SmackDown between now and then. I guess it's they possible. They do that a lot. Yeah. Where they have the title matches on SmackDown, which leads to the pay-per-view match. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so, yeah. Yep. Um, so, up next, we have uh, Jinder's announcement. Yes. With an exclamation point. Yes, it was very exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, so then, apparently, oh, oh, go on. oh, okay. Yeah, they had showed clips from his trip to India, which is why he wasn't on SmackDown last week. He looked very happy. Yeah, it looked like he was having a good time. Uh, so did the other Indian people. Um, and then he says that he has an important announcement because apparently there was a boy that he spoke to. Mm-hmm. That said, you've beaten everybody of every worthy opponent. Ev- yeah, every worthy opponent on SmackDown Live. So what do you do next? So he says, I've decided to challenge the beast, Brock Lesnar. <gasps> so it had been rumored. So yeah. It's not like it was a huge surprise. I don't know. Um, Ginger's going to get eaten alive at SummerSlam, uh, Survivor Series. <laughs> Somebody wrote, uh, the, the best part of that match will be to see how far Brock throws the Singh brothers. <laughs> it's true. That would be... Uh, Somebody's going to get hurt. 
That's that's true. From the ring over into the announce table. Because you know the funny thing is that a lot of the times, Brock Lesnar's opponents, if he like respects them, he'll put on a good match. Yeah. I don't this see is, him. This is having, interesting. I don't see him having any kind of respect for gender. I could be hundred percent wrong. I feel like we're going into uncharted waters here. Yeah, a little bit because he's used to. Ever since he came back, he has another. not had a match with a non formidable opponent in his mind. Yeah, because he had a lot of good things to say about Joe, and he wanted to fight Strowman. Yeah, the the only one was Dean. Yeah, but that was last year not this past year year before right yeah but it was also wasn't dean's fault no 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 it was just brock was unwilling to really do anything i think it was more of brock not happy with the situation Mm -hmm. than yeah he was just on the undercard and yeah so um that was that's the only opponent that isn't like a big name that he's faced and this is i know they're trying to make gender seem like a big name Mm -hmm. he's not no. There's just, there's nothing to him. As long as uh, Brock Lesnar doesn't open him like he did to Randy Orton, he'll be okay. Yeah. So, um... I don't know, I'm kind of intrigued, I'm not gonna lie. I want to know what they do with it. Yeah. Because that could be, it could be nothing, it could be absolute garbage, or they do absolutely nothing right. until... Yeah, who, it could like, who be, does this benefit if he nobody. if they have him squash Mahal? Nobody. Nobody. Um... <laughs> They they can't they can't have Mahal go over. Yeah, they can't. There's, there's, <laughs> you say that now. It, let, me, let me get that on uh, on camera. It just it doesn't benefit anybody, except for it doesn't even benefit gender. <laughs> no, it's just gonna anger the fans. Yeah, even. because that's all it's gonna do. That's it's fine. like that's what I'm hoping for. This guy was getting squashed. It, all the time, and now all of a sudden he he might have no been re- the victim uh, to Kurt Hawkins. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Six months back or yeah. eight months back. So, I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm intrigued. That's yeah. all. And I'm just I, interested to see where this goes. So, th- there's two routes they can do. They can either have Lesnar next Monday, because they announced that he's going to be on a Raw next Did Monday. Um, Must have been another blackout moment. I guess so. <laughs> I thought I wasn't paying attention during SmackDown. Um, you said on Raw. No. Brock was going to be there. You just said on Raw. Yeah. Oh, on he's Raw going to be on week. Raw. I thought you said His on show. I thought you said on Raw. They said that Brock's no. going to be there next. I said it on SmackDown. Oh. Michael Cole was there. I have this thing oh. where I just tune out Michael Cole. All right. So they announced that Brock is going to be on Raw, and then to to I guess to acknowledge the challenge. So either they have him accept that be the end of it. Nothing happens until Survivor Series. Or they go the extreme route. Have them invade SmackDown? Again, like they did with Randy Orton. Beat the Singh brothers with the ring post. That'd be fine. That'd be really funny. <laughs> like like you said, if they get thrown around, it's it's even better. Yeah, those poor guys. So, uh, uh, But so, yeah, anyway, back to the uh, gender promo. Yeah. So uh, AJ Styles comes out, and he's like, did I hear you right? Yeah. <laughs> And just like, well, that's what the boy said. And then he was like, but there is no worthy competition for me on well, SmackDown. No. Well, first he said, yes, you heard me. I'm challenging Brock Lesnar. Oh, okay. I thought he was saying, well, then he... No, that is meant. what J- AJ meant. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But yeah. Jinder heard or yes. assumed that he was talking mm-hmm. about his challenge. Right. Um, and then AJ, like you said, kind says, uh, yeah. yeah, beat me. Even though he has. Fine. Back in May. Beat him with a gloss. He did? He did. In May? Back, I believe it was May. I'm pretty sure. I will Google it. They had a, they had AJ versus Mahal in a singles match that Mahal won? May 16th. Yep. And you know for sure? Yes. No, it says the number one contender... To the United States and WWE Championships oh. collide days before their title matches. Oh. Yeah, Jinder pinned him yeah, clean. He had to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What the? Yeah. That's insane. Oh, that was the only way you were going to build him up. I guess that's have him true. Lose to beat a former champion. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. He could beat Brock. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of hope it happens. Just to watch the WWE universe implode. It's true. It would be interesting. If Jinder wins, we will cancel our subscription. 
Remember all those signs? Yeah, I, I can see that <laughs> happening. Um, so basically, um, AJ said you haven't beaten me, um, and then Ginger AJ. starts going on about stuff. Mm-hmm. USA chants start. Oh yeah, they did. And then AJ kind of just turns around and starts beating up Ginger, hits starts him with a Pele him. kick. Yeah. And uh, then was the Singh brothers attack him. I don't think so. Oh yeah, yeah. No, he beat no, up the Singh go, brothers too. Yeah, they go after AJ, and mm-hmm. then AJ fends him off, and yep. then they run away. Wow. So, so yeah. So I guess this is what we'll be doing between. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's even a chance for a title match between. That's true. So well, obviously AJ won't win, yeah. but. Yeah, so uh, then we go backstage and Ginger comes up to Daniel Bryan and asks Daniel Bryan what he's going to do to AJ after what he just did. And, uh, Daniel Bryan asks Ginger, he said, what are you going to do? And he said, uh, next week, uh, Samir will fight AJ. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. AJ is still put a get a five-star match out of the guy. Actually, they're not terrible wrestlers. So. Yeah, they're just booked to be goofy, mm-hmm. like, goons. Yeah. So uh, Which is funny because uh, Noble and... Uh, Mercury were not big guys either. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're just lackeys. Yeah. Which we will be seeing Mercury at the House of Hardcore show. Oh, we will? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. All right. So uh, so what's next? <laughs> the Bobby Roode versus Dolph Ziggler match. <laughs> there was nothing to this. They basically rolled around the ring together trying to uh, pull the tights of the other one for the win. And yeah. uh, Dolph Ziggler was successful. Yep. So that means this feud's not over. Nope. What the freaking do? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, <laughs> we're just gonna move on because there's nothing to talk about. Uh, so up next we have Aiden English walking down the hallway singing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Starts <laughs> yelling at two guys on their cell phones. Right. Yeah. It's like, why aren't you listening to me? Would you be doing this at some show? Yeah. I don't remember the show he was. Uh, talking it was. About. It was like uh, some opera or whatever. Um. So as he's yelling at these guys, the New Day bursts through. With the trombone and all. Yeah. And they start making fun of uh, English. Mm. And then uh, Rusev says, that's enough. <laughs> no more New Day, just Rusev Day. <laughs> and then New Day goes, Rusev Day? All right, let's celebrate. <laughs> they start playing their New Day song yep. and everything. Yep. And then Rusev like, this is not a joke. And then, so the New Day leaves, and then Hayden English starts saying, It's Rusev Day! And then Rusev's like, No, it's not that time. <laughs> oh, this was just so good. Yeah. So maybe we'll get uh, Aiden English and Rusev versus the New Day next week? Probably. I would be fine with it. It's something different. Well, when the New Day first came, I had said that they shouldn't be going after the title, mm-hmm. and I think that this is something like what they should have yeah. been doing well, they'll, to you know with. they'll start looping around where they'll have yeah. a feud and then they'll be back in the title picture another yeah. feud. Then this, this way you get entertainment out of different mm-hmm. people and they're obviously going to be showcased yep. no matter what so mm-hmm. why not put them with people that they can get you know over yeah and then so. uh saw Kofi and Kingston uh, shaved the side of his head yeah it was I, I know he looked a little different mm-hmm. I couldn't quite place it but mm-hmm. but yeah Hopefully TJP doesn't get a hold of all those dreads like he did with Rich Swan. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. And that brings us to the main event of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura, a.k.a. your favorite tag team. It's not that it's I have a I problem with it. just but so unoriginal now. You know what? We're able to see four good workers in the main event oh yeah there's nothing wrong no. with the team no. it's just but, and, and shinsuke will probably be able to work more his style against guys like owens and zane well yeah because they're better yeah for lack of <laughs> better yeah. Yeah. yeah we already know that he can he can wrestle good with uh zane and owens yeah on a good match with yeah when anybody. they were wrestling i was like oh yeah that was shinsuke's debut match in nxt and that match was so good yeah and owens gets good matches out of pretty much anybody mm-hmm. so yeah um but yeah it was uh it was a good it was, match yeah it was nothing too exciting yeah. but decent uh zane and owens worked well together which really isn't a surprise yeah um but. randy orton lifted kevin owens and slammed him into the barricade again like mm-hmm. he did to rusev yep picking on the fat guys yeah <laughs> he's jealous yes true he <laughs> he apparently really is 
wish I could wear a gym shorts and a shirt and not have to care about my figure. Oh, man. Kevin Owens is always the butt of the jokes. It's true. But, but everybody loves him. It's true. So, uh, so yeah. But, yeah, the end of the match saw so, uh, Owens throwing uh, Shinsuke into the steps. And this distracted the referee in the ring. Sami Zayn hit Shinsuke with a uh, Wharton with a low blow, and yeah. it hits the Haluva kick for the win. Yep, pins the what was he thirteen time champion? Or 12 I think it's, thir- uh, it's twelve or thirteen. Twelve or thirteen. Yeah, yeah. pinned him. Pinned him in the ring. So uh, Sami Zayn got a win. He did. All it took was turn and heel. Yep. And align yourself with the biggest heel in the ro- well. Like I guess he's the biggest heel, right? I guess the the champion is not. Um, I would say the best heel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. So there was rumors that post Survivor Series, we're going to get Kevin Owens and Jinder. Jinder being the face going into India. Makes sense. Yeah. Just going to be an interesting face turn. I don't understand. Or is Jinder going to get beat so bad that everybody feels bad for him? That's possible. (laughs) That's possible. All I wanted to do was be your champion. Yeah. Well, no, because I don't. I don't see what's the point in taking the title off of AJ. I mean, um, having AJ go for the title mm-hmm. and then just stop without getting it. Because, like... Well, somehow, Jinder earns AJ's respect and it kind of gives him a face turn. I guess that would, the ol- that would be the only, only way. Because I don't... Like, they want Jinder to be the face going into yeah. the India well, tour, I but... Mean, like we've said, what the hell do you do with this guy when you take the title off him? Nothing. Yeah. I mean, he, he sh- they, they should have really just done this whole thing with the U.S. title. It would have made so much more sense. Well, and it wouldn't have mattered. No, right? exactly. The only reason why it would have been bad is because it's the United States title. Hmm. If it was the Intercontinental title, it would probably well, be I mean, better. The whole gimmick was built on the anti-American thing, so that would have been Yes, but perfect. I don't know how well that would have translated in a different country. Like, it might have gotten him heat here. Yeah. But I don't know if it would have made him. I don't know. I don't, I don't <laughs> I'm not going to so. get into things. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think hey, that would have fine. worked as well. Um, anywho, yeah. Huh? So after the match, um, uh, Owens and Zane go to Gorilla. Yeah, they're celebrating. Uh-huh. And they ask Daniel Bryan what he's got in store for them next week. Yep. And he says, it's not up to me. It's up to Shane McMahon. So I guess Shane will be on SmackDown next week. Yep. <laughs> so they walk back out onto the stage saying they're the best, and that no one can do anything about it, and they yep. start hugging each other, and Owens goes, hug, hug me, me tighter. <laughs> You're my best friend. Yeah. Good stuff. Owens is the best. Yeah, I mean, it really wasn't a bad show overall. No. Not much happened. Yeah, but... it wasn't exciting, um, but I just... There's a lot of entertainment value in the Kevin Owens stuff. Yeah. Or the Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn stuff. Yep, that was good. Like I said, I enjoyed that Rusev bit. Even yeah. the gender was fine because he's with AJ. And uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. He didn't do anything too offensive. And... <laughs> Not yet. Yeah. Oh, maybe he'll come dressed up as AJ saying he's a Southern boy or something like that. That'd be funny. It's time. So. Don't take it away. You know. Yeah, it was overall not a bad SmackDown. Yeah. So. Noth- uh, anything built for next week? Um, besides Shane McMahon being back, I don't think so. Yeah. Like I'm sure there's going to be something between Charlotte and Natalia. Yeah, and more AJ and Jinder. A uh, Baron and Sin Cara, maybe. <gasps> Man, <laughs> oh. yeah, this is Baron and Corbin and Kalisto all over. I know again. it is. It's yeah. literally that because Kalisto is just different Sin Cara. Yeah, <laughs> or Sin Cara is just, just different Kalisto. Oh man, it's but... just a different skin on the same character. <laughs> Uh, would he be in the cruiserweight division? Sin Cara was. Oh yeah, that's right. He was in that match. He was in several cruiserweight matches. That's right. So I don't know why they moved him. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. So yeah, that was our SmackDown review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.